Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. So this video um, is all about how to save money by doing a food plan. Now for me, doing a food plan is pretty quick and basic. I look at my diary and then just write, you know, Tuesday night what the food that we'll have and then, um, you know, Wednesday night Rocco and I have like date night and, you know, I'll write down like what the key um, main meal is for that night and that's pretty much the extent of it. But I think when you do it properly, you can actually save a lot of money. Leila's going to give lots of tips on how to go about getting your food to stretch as far as possible by doing a food plan. One thing um, for me is I think you should really look, when you're designing a food plan, look at what you've got coming up that week. Yeah. You know, I will plan basically Monday through Friday because I let the weekends kind of be a bit more relaxed and laid back. But, you know, I'll look at like what deadlines I've got on at work, um, you know, what rock activities, activities Rocco and I've got planned, like, um, you know, it, if I know I've got a stressful day that I'm probably going to be tired by the end of it, like I'll plan, I'll try and plan around that. So I think the more um, consideration you give to what you've got on for the rest of the week, the better your, your plan's going to be. So obviously looking at your schedule and, and planning your food around it. Now, Leila had a great idea about like stretching out the food um, to get it to last as long as possible. It's funny, like when I, for example, if we have chicken for dinner, I just think that's it, the chicken is for dinner. But you had some really interesting ideas about getting that chicken actually to last as quickly as, yeah. as much as possible. So do you want to explain? Yeah, definitely, because I would, even though I live on my own, I would still buy a whole chicken for mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. Because I'll roast that chicken, I'll eat parts of that chicken, then I'll save it for chicken sandwiches or a chicken salad. Mm -hmm. or, and then I'll save the bones so that I can make a stock. So mm -hmm. then for I've like got soup to make. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can make that, that item like many Last. different meals over the week yeah mm. so you know you, you might cook the breast for you know for one night with like you know with say potatoes and roast vegetables yep. and things like that exactly. and then you know you'll use another part of it you know for the following night yep. you know with another dish or you know like for the pasta dish or something like that yeah exactly so you get i guess that that one expensive item of meat goes as long as it possibly can. It possibly can. Yeah. And because you're mixing it in with other ingredients, you don't get bored. No, you don't get bored at all. So you can do the same with, you know, a, a duck or a lamb, or whatever, I can make a different salad or have a different sauce with it or mm. yeah, of course. Like, a lot of variety. Yeah. And then, you know, the other idea is obviously taking um, a packed lunch to work, um, which is what I've been doing for the um, financial fast um, for February. Which actually say I'm shocked as how much money I've saved on that. But you know, cooking that little bit extra or yeah. exercising portion control at dinner so that you do actually have some yeah. some food that you can take to work and don't need to go and buy like a ten dollar yeah. sandwich or salad at, you know at lunchtime. Like you know, investing some good Tupperware containers yeah. so that you can you know yeah. stretch stretch the food, stretch the food, but also stretch the meals out. You yeah. know, um, and and bulk them up so you don't you know, and then you don't stack as much you know at work during the next day. Definitely. Well, I always cook, when I cook dinner, I always cook extra. So mm. There's always some for lunch the next day. And I also cook extra so that there's backup meals in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. So for those nights when you, because sometimes you don't know whether you're going to be tired or don't feel like cooking. Mm. And I know I can just go to the freezer and pull something out and there is a full meal for me waiting and ready. See, that's when I get lazy. That's when I <laughs> order home delivery or takeaway or just go and I grab Rocco and we go get sushi train for dinner. Fortune. Which is so expensive, yeah. especially with a two-year-old grabbing everything off um, the train. <laughs> Um, for novelty and then knocking things over which makes it expensive <laughs> <laughs> but you're right like you know um uh like thinking at planning ahead yeah. and um and yet stretching those meals out and i know with children and it's not just rocker um lots of kids do this you know they'll they'll eat you know half their meal and just leave it there mm, and you know cool. it's such a you like throw it away going it's such a waste of food you know wrap it up put some cling wrap on it put it back in the fridge it can either be a snack yeah. for in between meals or you can reheat it you know depending obviously on the hygiene of the food um and, and eat yeah, it you absolutely. know at, at another time absolutely. and um or even sometimes you know depending on what it is i might you know use it to fill up the dog's mm. um, dinners you know yeah, with exactly. you know with rocco's um half eaten food <laughs> But yeah, you can, you can yeah. actually get a lot more mileage out of your food if you if you plan. And I think being mindful of what you put on your plate as well, mm. because if you don't put too much on your plate, you can always go back for seconds. But I think people are and like I do this when people come over for dinner, not because I'm stingy, but quite often, you know, I might eat a lot more than other people because I exercise a lot, mm. and then I serve them up something, 
and they can't eat it and they'll go and scrape it in the bin while they mm. clean up the dishes. So if I put less and I can go, hey, anyone can have seconds if yeah. they want to and I'm not wasting mm. food. Yeah. And for me, because I'm not a very good cook, that's actually good because if they don't feel obliged to have to eat it all if it's not very yummy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final tip with planning your food you mentioned was like freezing your, your herbs. Yeah. Mm. So that I guess you things. can make the dishes delicious and taste unique each time. Oh, I can't believe how much. Like a bunch of herbs is quite expensive mm. and I like to use fresh herbs in my yeah. cooking. Um, Makes such a big difference. Oh, huge. But you'll buy a whole bunch of rosemary and only use one sprig for a bomb nice mess. Herbs yeah. freeze so well though mm. and all mm. I do is put them in a freezer bag. And if mm. you look in the top of my freezer, it's curry leaves, bay leaves, basil, everything, it's all frozen. And the oh, best wow. thing about it, it takes two seconds to defrost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it's yeah, healthy as well and good for you. Okay, so they're just our tips on how to food plan. I hope that's helped. Um, stay tuned because we've got lots more coming up and you're going to be saving so much money on food from just this series alone. Okay, see you soon. Ciao. Ciao.